Hi, it's Matt Thomas, another quick tech tip for Sonic Academy. We're just going to look at how to make a sort of stereo doubler. You sort of have these things in Logic, like a kind of like a width creator, but um, there isn't one by default in Ableton, so here's a really quick way to make one. Okay, you're going to need the Ableton plugins and also the uh, the Apple native AU plugins that come with your computer. So what we need to do, first of all, we're going to work on a clap. Okay, there's the clap. Now we want to spread that so we hear it coming out of sort of the left and right ears at the same time. So rather than being centre pound, we actually sort of hear it coming from each side of us, which is a really nice little mix trick for sort of grabbing attention from a part and also leaving space in the centre. So I need an audio effect rack. There it is, and I put it on that mode where we've got sort of uh, parallel chains of audio. Okay. Now, first of all, I want a utility, which is actually not going to do much apart from just give us a chain there. I want to go to the Apple plugins and I want sample delay and put that one next to it. Okay, so we've now got two parallel chains. Okay, so they're both still just playing that sound, so now it's twice as loud. Okay, so first thing is pull that down a bit. Let's put them both to minus four just so we're not kind of getting the loudness effect as well as the, what we're after. Okay, next thing is we want to pan them to either side. And um, is that going to do the trick? No, we're still kind of back where we started. What's going to make the difference is this, the uh, the sample delay. Now, as soon as I pull this back a little and run it again, you're going to hear that clap coming out of left and right, so to speak. This is obviously much clearer on headphones. So there it is without the effect, and here it is with. And the kind of higher you set that sample delay, the wider it appears until eventually you actually start hearing two separate like delayed da dum. So there you go. Simple as that. There you go. A kind of a stereo width machine. You can save that effects rack off, call it stereoize it, you're done. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.